For millennia, humans have changed landscapes to fit their needs. But the recent dramatic shifts in population and technology mean that landscapes are changing at a greater speed and scale than ever before. It's urgent that we figure out how best to accommodate the people living in those landscapes. To do this, we need to understand the relationship people have with their environment. The problem is that environmental value has mostly been measured from a monetary perspective, which is only a fraction of its true value. For example, farmland may be seen purely as land that produces food. But if you talk to farmers, you may find that they have a deeper connection with the area. Their family may have lived there for generations. They've worked on it, shaped it, and watched the plants and animals change from season to season. On the other hand, a less productive landscape, such as a wetland, can appear to have little value, but they can be havens for wildlife and provide space for people to relax and feel connected to nature. One of the aims of the OPERAS project was to develop a toolkit to uncover these non-monetary values. The fundamental idea is, go out and talk to people. But you can't just ask people what they like about a landscape. Just as someone might struggle if you ask them, why do you like your favorite song? They may have difficulty with a question like, what do you value about this landscape? In order to help people articulate responses to this question, the OPERAS team have developed several techniques to help people think about their relationship with their environment. For example, one method asks people to choose between different land use options. They're forced to prioritize between landscapes dominated by either wildlife, farming, or forestry and can see the implications of these choices. Another method asks people to draw on a map which parts of the landscape they value and why. This helps people to connect their values to the landscape and to see the area as a whole. Decision makers can also identify value hotspots or areas where conflicts might arise. The most important thing is to talk to people, listen to what they have to say and make sure everyone is heard. This process helps people to gain a better understanding of the landscape and enables decision makers to have a more complete understanding of the many ways in which the land is valued.